Ooh, I like that way. We, we should get it that way. <laughs> Jenny. I'm Jared. Uh, we're gonna talk about politics. Yeah. So tell me, Jared, what we're gonna want to be talking today? Um, let's talk a little bit about the 2024 campaign race. Ooh, my God. Where do you think things really sit with this right oh now? Oh my God, I just have so many opinions on it. You, you go ahead and get started. Because we've got the Republican Party, they're still have a long list of Republicans that, that doesn't seem to narrow down much. Um, yeah. And then we've got the possibility where you look at Joe Biden and there's a lot of talk. Is is he really going to run for president? Is there going to be a switch somewhere um, to, to stir things up a little bit? And then also RFK and with his possibilities of running as a third party. So what do you think? Uh, where do you think we are? I, I think definitely Trump should not run for president. He should run for jail. Oh. <laughs> Trump, jail 2024. That's what I think as a Democrat. But... Uh, <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't want somebody who can... You know, who can and, rejuvenate and this, this country he almost killed and run me things right. Ago. He yeah. almost killed me. He just like... He went like a oh, ballistic. <sighs> <laughs> what were you saying? Yeah, we definitely, um, I, I think Biden is our president. He's just been doing a wonderful, um, wonderful uh, work, okay? His administration has his challenge to things that he needs to improve. But I, I do think that he's just been doing a good, really good job. And I do definitely going to be supporting Biden or whoever runs as a Democrat. I do really don't care. What I know for sure, I will not vote for Trump or I will not vote for a third party that they may, they can put Trump in power. That's something that I don't want to do. If they just run a piece of lettuce for the White House, I will vote for a piece of lettuce. Okay, I just want to make that clear. Yep, you must be a Democrat. <laughs> Voting for pieces of lettuce. I'm a Republican. You know, we, I mean, we've got oatmeal for brains in the <laughs> White House right now, so that, that's how you roll. That's how I, you roll. I, I don't really care, but I do definitely, I think, I think Trump represents a threat to a democracy. I think uh, he's just a wannabe a dictator, and I do definitely not going to support that. And it's important in these elections that you guys don't vote for any third party candidates. No, we have we have a system that is a two party candidate. It's a Republican or it's a Democrat. So which one is going to be? You decide. But you definitely, if you are a Democrat, do not or independent, please do not vote for third party candidates. Okay. They are the little kids in the little preschool table. They always ruin things for everybody else. Please go. Um, Not that they don't know that they cannot win because they do need, as the system is set up, they need their um, votes that they need and they're never going to get anything. It's just like, you are wasting your vote. Stop doing that, please. No. I just don't care if you are a Republican. I don't care if you are a Democrat. We do not vote for third party candidates. And Jerry has something to say about See, that. See, and that, that's the thing is, it's like I always enjoy when there's a third party candidate. I wish that we were able to, to spread it out so we had more of a choice than just Democrat or Republican. I remember way back when uh, having a Ross Perot shirt and campaigning for Ross Perot. Um, cause I've always thought that it, it's good to, to mix it up a little bit more. And um, he, and he, and he got nothing, nothing. I, I still, I still, I nothing. still think, I still think it's good, uh, for the campaigns. I think it's still good for politics, um, to have a third party, even if, you know, people think, well, it's kind of a long shot, but, uh, but that's the thing is they're still sticking to who they are. They're sticking to what they believe. You know, so I, I think that it's good. I, I am a little bit nervous that if RFK actually does go third party, um, because I think that a lot of his views um, lean more to the right. And so, uh, and so I always get a little bit nervous that he might, um, you know, take some people that are kind of right on the fence that 
um, ultimately would have gone for Trump. You know, maybe they'll go for RFK, but uh, where, where normally it seems that uh, a third party hurts the Democrats, I think that... Yeah, uh, I think historically, it, it, historically, it, it, yeah. it hurts Democrats. But so. I think in this case that, that uh, I personally think that it will hurt Republicans more. But even after that being said, I think that I, I think that it is great to see, you know, when when things are just a little bit different than just how they should be. And I wishfully want to agree with him that it's going to hurt uh, Republicans, but I don't think so. It's going to hurt Democrats. I do truly think, truly think, sorry, that it's going to hurt Democrats running a third party. Uh, it happens here in Nevada, okay, and I'm from the state of Nevada. I'm Derek, from Utah. Derek is from Utah. And uh, it happens here, we run so many uh, third, four, five per, um, candidates uh, last last year. Uh, with the, what, last year or the last, well, when was the last election? Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> 2020. 2020. Three years. Okay. The uh, CISOLAC lost because of that. So I just truly think that the third parties hurt Democrats the most. I don't know why. I just don't. It's historically, it's like that, okay? And, uh, and I, well, I just wanted to know, Jared, why do you think Donald Trump should win the elections in 2024? I, I say you just look at when he was president for four years. Mm -hmm. Things were a whole lot better. Okay, tell me. And, well, we didn't have the southern border crisis mm -hmm. the economy mm -hmm. was much much better mm -hmm. and i i just think that donald trump did a wonderful job and i and i just can't wait until okay. he's back in there to clean up this mess we have right now okay and i will tell you as a democrat why we what what did i think we shouldn't elect trump first i want to be a dictator january 6th okay I just think that that's a big thing that is counting against him. He could just leave the office, you know, like everybody else. You know, he's a sore loser. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. The economy, he inherited a great economy from Obama. Obama did a really good job. So he just only had to ride that horse of the good <laughs> economy given handled by Obama. Okay, and uh, okay, that's okay. He rides that he he rides that horse, <laughs> and he did an okay mm -hmm, job. Mm -hmm. Towards the end, with COVID, he was the president of the deaf people, the deaf people. That's what he brought to this country. Deaf. He could have just say to the people in the beginning of COVID, okay, let's don't close anything. Let's wear a mask. Let's wear everybody. Let's wear a mask, and give us the mask that we needed for we can just keep the country functioning. It was a lot of people that died over his yeah. we need, government. We, we need Excuse me. No, 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 just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. That's part, of, that's part of his presidency. And that was part of why he's lost, okay? He needed to do that. He didn't do a good job with handling COVID, okay? He did a good job in the vaccine, but he, somehow he didn't take, you know, credit for it. You know, he should just take credit for it. And on the top of that, I just think that he led us with, I think it was like seven, 13 trillion. I don't remember how many trillions he did, but he he was one of the presidents that run the country with the highest deficit ever. Not even Obama. Obama, he inherited a crisis from Bush, but he, President Trump, and it wasn't even for relief for COVID. It was the taxes, hold on, hold on. the Everyone taxes, the below great taxes where for you the rich. Think no, just COVID let me is finish. right now let and how finish. it affected <laughs> okay, so Trump the tax and Biden presidency. For the rich that he did, that what gave us such a high, high debt. I just don't want any more debt for this country, okay? I just don't want any more debt. I think that we have to run certain things in debt because that's the way countries function. But when you just explode the debt, that's another thing that is not okay. Okay, this, this is not okay. For um, then talk to President Biden for me, please. Oh, that yeah, would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, would be I would great. Talk, I will talk. <laughs> I will definitely talk to President Biden. President Biden, if you listen to us, yes, leave a comment below. Or Trump, if you listen to us, you know. Yeah. And your enemy number one. I don't like no. you. No. <laughs> 
Trump 2024. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do Bye, it. Like, I love you. I love you. You definitely should run. Okay, okay well, good luck in your uh, campaign coming up. I'm definitely going to be supporting the campaign. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to be just walking the streets for get Biden elected. So. Okay, hopefully he'll have that... Uh, that rally at 11 a.m. You know, before hope, his before his can, nap time. I, I hope you can buy me new shoes too. For yeah. That. Okay. No. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So you guys, what do you think? Comment below. Do you think it's gonna be Trump 2024? Or it's gonna be Biden 2024? Or it's gonna be someone else 2024? Who, Who knows at this point? Who knows? Who knows at this point? We are so early in the election cycle that we just don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just and what, what effect do you think RFK is going to have on this election? Because I know that Democrats, you know, they vote for lettuce and oatmeal, but are, <laughs> are they not going? Are they going to vote for RFK this time? Who knows? So. And uh, you guys, please comment below, give it a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps our channel to grow, and it helps other people to find our content and our videos. You guys, take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.